Want to see something cool? A long, 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 long time ago, before the wind, before the snow, when you went out to go see a show, it wasn't silicon that made the lights go. Chase lighting on a marquee is a couple lines of code and a few relays these days. But once upon a crime, the world relied on mechanical mischief and deadly levers to make dust blinking lights twinkle. And that's how we got this fucking thing. This cantankerous clockwork clusterfuck is a programmable sequential switching system for signage applications. It's kind of like the steampunk grandfather of the drum machine. Look, mom, no computer! Hey, mate, if you want to play, hit me up. I'd love to chat. By the way, guys, if you're into my kind of stuff and you like musical mojo, check out Sam's channel. He's a brilliant young man and a fantastic flavor of nerd who doesn't have nearly as many subscribers as he deserves. The motor spins a reduction drive and that rotates our owl here. The drum is slotted and you program this by adjusting the relative positions of the marzal veins. The wipers are allegedly made of phosphor bronze, and they carry the current to and fro. The first one is a continuous contact, so that's our input power, and with voltage applied there, the entire rotating assembly is live at line voltage, and there isn't a safety housing in sight. Ah, I miss the days of Darwin when stupid people couldn't survive long enough to breed. As the drum rotates, the contacts come into presentation and switch the power in turn to the intended circuit. Flashing is easy, and you can even do chase lighting with this if you like. It's beautiful as it is, but I'm gonna clean it up, find a belt, and we'll see this again in the future. This is the kind of thing that makes me wish I had an assistant with a passion for polishing pretty things. We'll get there eventually. And that's pretty cool.